It's December 1st, 2021. Time for Advent of Code 2021. Here's day one. These first few paragraphs introduce the idea that you're trying to earn 50 stars, one or two each day from December 1st to December 25th. And here's the first problem. Submarine sonar sweeps. You have this data telling you measurements of the seafloor depth, and you're trying to determine how many times the depth increases. So from 199 to 200, that's an increase. Here's an increase. 8 to 10 is an increase. 210 to 200 is not an increase. So if you count, you'll find that there are seven times when a number is greater than the previous number. So here's the test data. Let's copy it and we can paste it into a Python project here to look like this. And uh, we'll write a Python program to solve this. Um, so in order to load the data into variables in the program, we'll use pathlib. And I just learned about this recently. And we can say pathlib.path and we'll use the test data. And then we can say read text. And that gives us something like um, this. I'll print this. So that just shows basically what we've got. Um, those are strings though. We need to turn those into numbers. So how about we um, make a um, well let's do split on new line and now you see that these strings containing numbers are elements of a list and we need to turn them into numbers we also need to remove this one at the end that comes because there's a new line after line 10 so if we add a an R strip it'll strip off this last new line and then we won't end up with an empty string in our list so let's just throw in an R strip and that takes care of that okay so I'm gonna call this lines and then I want to produce a list of numbers. So we're going to use int to turn these numbers inside strings into numbers. Using a uh, starting with a, a list comprehension. So we'll say numbers gets list comprehension int of line for line in lines. We'll print the numbers. Okay, so we've gotten as far as reading in the data and producing a list of integers. And now we want a way to iterate over those, iterate over successive pairs. So we want to compare 199 and 200 and see if 200 is greater. And then we want to compare 200 with 208, see if 208 is greater, and so on. Um, inside iter tools, we have pairwise. And pairwise does just this. So if we say for a comma b, or num1, num2, in pairwise of numbers, and then we print A and B, you'll see what we get here. We get all these pairs. So here's the first pair, 199, 200. Here's the next pair, 200, 208. Okay, so what if we also print here whether B is greater than A? So 
So now we end up with true, 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 true. We have seven trues now. The problem says that there should be seven. So we're on the right track here. Um, we could do something like um, an if, but I think we're going to make a list comprehension first. So what if we were to um, turn this loop into a list comprehension? So we'll say um, increases gets list comprehension. And what are we interested in? Well, we're interested in whether B is greater than A. And then here's the loop. So we want to know whether B is greater than A for A, B in pairwise of numbers. And now, in addition to all that, I'll print this increases list. So here, true, 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 false, true, 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 false, true. It's basically this column from here. Now, what if we were to just print sum of increases? I mean, SUM. We get a seven. Well, how do we get a seven by using sum with this list of Booleans? Well, that's just the way sum works with a list of Booleans. It counts all the trues. Okay, so we've, we've got this. If we then go and um, run this with the real data, I'll show you how you get that. So it says, um, go get your data. Um, here it is. So you copy all this and paste it into a file with the real data. And now we've got these 2,000 um, numbers. And when we run, uh, we get 1167, and we put 1167 into the problem, and it says it's correct. So I've already I've already done part one. Here's the 1167. Okay, so let's just clean up this program a bit here. Um, sometimes when we use list comprehensions, we really can use generator expressions. So let's do that. Um, we don't, we can't do that with this. This is just going to be a list of strings because that's what the split gives us. And then this right now is a list of int, but I want to change this to be a generator expression. So I'm just going to change the um, the square brackets to parentheses. And now it becomes a generator expression. And we're not even using this anymore, so that's going to go. And then this I'm also going to change to a generator expression. I'm just changing the square brackets to parentheses. That changes it from a list comprehension to a generator expression, which in many cases is more memory efficient because it doesn't actually have to create the entire list all at the same time. And then I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, this is no longer needed. And uh, let's run. And it's still got the 1167, so that's good. Um, I'm going to leave this type hint because it's not immediately obvious to most people, I would say, that this expression on the right produces a list of strings. Although, if you looked at the split, then you know that split produces a list of strings. You would know. Um, I'm going to just show you the, the type hint that um, IntelliJ IDEA generates for a generator expression. It's kind of complicated, so um, I'm not going to use that one. Okay, just summarize. PathLib gives you a convenient way to read data from a file. Iter tools gives you a convenient way to look at pairs of data in a file. We're getting all of the uh, lines from the file into a list of strings. And we're turning them into numbers using this. And then we're finding the 
uh, which are increases. True, this is true falses. So this is a generator expression that produces um, a sequence of booleans. And then here, when we use sum, it just counts the number of trues in there. So there we go. And I'm on my way with advent of code 2021. I have my first star. See you next time.